The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. In number four, we're asked to solve a quadratic equation in two different ways, by completing the square and by using the quadratic formula. So let's use completing the square first. So we have our function here, 4x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. We want to solve this by completing the square. So remember that in order to complete the square, your coefficient on your x squared term needs to be 1. So we have to divide this whole thing by 4. We'll get x squared minus x minus 5 fourths equals 0. Okay, this is the exact same thing as this. 0 divided by 4 is 0. Now our coefficient here is 1. We can deal with it. The last thing you always want to do with completing the square is move the constant to the other side. And you want to leave a space in your writing because you're going to be putting something there. So we add the 5 fourths over. So now the method for completing the square is you take half the coefficient that's on the x term. In this case, that's negative 1. Half of that would be negative a half. You square that and you add it to both sides. One half squared is one fourth, so we add one fourth to both sides of this equation. And you always are able to factor your remaining quadratic as x, either minus or plus, depending on the sign, that half number that was there. So half of this was the one half, that's where it is. On the right side, we have five fourths plus one fourth, six fourths, but that can be reduced to three halves. Well now this is a much easier equation to solve. So solving this here, we would get x minus 1 half by taking the square root of both sides is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. Remember that you always have to put a plus or minus here if something squared equals a particular number because it could have been the positive or the negative part of it. And finally we would add over the 1 half. So our solution is 1 half plus or minus the square root of 3 halves. So there's two solutions there. That makes sense because we had a quadratic. So that would be solving it by completing the square. Now using the quadratic formula, as long as you remember it, it's probably going to be a little bit simpler. So remember we have the opposite of b, 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so we'll have 16 minus 4 times 4 times negative 5. Very important when you plug into the quadratic formula that you make sure you plug in your positives and negatives correctly. So in this case, b is negative and c is negative, so you need to take that into account here. Finally, divided by 2a, which would be 8, because a is 4. So we get 4 plus or minus. In this root, we have now 16. We have a negative and a negative, so it's going to end up being plus. And we have 16 times 5, so that would give us 80. All over 8. Four plus or minus is the square root of 96 all over 8. We need to factor that out somehow. Well, we can do that because we have uh, 96 can be factored into 16 times 6, and 16 is a perfect square. So we'll have uh, that there. 16 comes out of the radical as a 4. So finally, now so be careful, a lot of you might have wanted to cancel this 4 and this 8 right there. You actually can't do that because you have three terms and something would have to cancel out of all of them if you're going to cancel. Now we have a 4 sitting here so we can do that and turn this into a 2 in the bottom. We have 1 plus or minus square root of 6 all over 2. And <clears throat> We can further simplify this into 1 half plus or minus root 6 over 2. So you might be wondering, is that the same thing we got here? It actually is. 
let's see how we can show that. If you wanted to rationalize this, you would need to multiply this plus or minus root 3 halves by root 2 over root 2 to get the denominator to be a whole number. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. On the bottom we have 2. So this and this match. And either way you want to write it, either this way or this way here, is going to be uh, your correct answer there. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.